hi skincare bestie welcome to my channel my name is nero and today i'm going to teach you how to make a turmeric and sugar scrub hi skincare bestie i'll get right into the tutorial you start by measuring all the dry ingredients first before the liquid ingredients you need a cup of sugar you can reduce the batch size of this production by dividing into two every measurement you'll be given in this video all the products and powders I'll be talking about in this video will be linked in the description box below. You need to watch this video to the end because I'll be explaining in depth on how to tweak this scrub recipe so you can use it on your face. This scrub recipe is for the body and some of the ingredients here are not compatible with and may cause irritation to the facial skin. I'll be telling you milder ingredients you can replace them with. Secondly, you need a half tablespoon of turmeric powder. Thirdly, you need a tablespoon of alum powder. In the video, I made a mistake which I quickly corrected. I added half a tablespoon. Of alum powder at first. I later added another half tablespoon when I realized my mistake. Sorry guys. Hey skincare bestie, if you find this video valuable so far, do me a favor. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the post not notifications so you'll be notified when I post my next video. Here I post skincare tips, DIYs and simple product formulations for you to get that beautiful glowing and healthy skin the fifth ingredient is cinnamon powder you add half a tablespoon of cinnamon powder the fifth ingredient is mulberry powder you need half a tablespoon of mulberry powder at this point i realized my mulberry powder had solidified it's the second time this has happened and i don't understand why if you know why, please tell me how to prevent it. Hi guys, welcome. So, I lost the footage for the many parts of the video. Yes, very sad. I know I worked really hard on it and it's all gone. Okay. I used, I used my phone to film and then something happened and the video showed error and I couldn't retrieve it back. So, I'll be telling you the rest of the recipe by mouth. Alright, so we stopped that turmeric powder. That's all for the dry ingredients. Now we're getting into the liquid ingredients. The next ingredient on our list is the santalic cleanser. The santalic cleanser is composed of fruit acid. It's a fruit acid solution that it actually induces peeling. It's good for us. It also yeah. helps to clear up hyperpigmentation. So this is the santalic cleanser. I'll also be inserting the pictures and I'll be showing you the product that I have here. Alright, so then I used two two tablespoons of olive oil. This is the olive oil I use. You don't have to use olive oil. You can use any other body oil of your choice that you have available. Almond oil, coconut oil. But I chose to use olive oil because I have a dry skin and I really want my skin to feel moisturized after scrubbing. I don't want my skin to feel stripped because if you don't like boost um exfoliation can sometimes make the skin feel dry and stripped the next ingredient i used was the labiganese oil body oil um if you don't you don't have to do this um, use this particular oil you can use you can replace it with an organic oil but i prefer to use this one you can add other oils of your choice that are safe other concentrated oils of your choice that are safe i use one tablespoon of labijanese oil then the last ingredient i added was preservative i use one teaspoon of preservative preservative that i can recommend for you that is broad spectrum is gemma plus okay one teaspoon of that will be fine and also try as much as possible to keep the product out of water. and you mix it all together and at first the color is going to be like a reddish brown color okay but over time the color changes 
dark brown try like keep it tight and close i recommend that you keep it in a brown or amber color container so that it can be protected from the sun and keep it tightly closed can you use this scrub on the face i know someone is going to ask in the comment section no you can't it is a body scrub a sugar and turmeric body scrub but if you want to use it on the face there are some tweaks that you can make to be able to use on the face first of all sugar you need to change the exfoliant sugar is is a little too rough to be used on the face because it is more suited for the skin on the body but the gentler for time you use the sugar you can use um oats rolled oats blended oats blended oats that one is a gentle exfoliant then um if the santal kits are there are two types of the sandalic that is for the face and there's for the body this one i used in this video in this recipe is for the body so you get the one for the face okay then we don't use this lab and this lab is the body oil don't use this one if you are going to use this scrub for your face don't use it and olive oil is comedogenic and to clog your pores so do not use it don't switch it off with something like um almond oil or jojoba oil those ones and those oils are not comedogenic. Coconut oil is also comedogenic, but I feel like it depends on your skin type. But generally speaking, coconut oil is comedogenic, and so I suggest you don't use it in the recipe for your face scrub. After you're done making this scrub recipe, scoop it out of the container and place it into the container of your choice, preferably an amber colored container or brown container. So here's the finished work of the turmeric and sugar body scrub. And in case you're wondering why it's so small, I've used a lot from it. Remember I told you I lost a lot of the footage. So this video is actually weeks after I filmed the first original video. So I've used a lot from it. I don't I prefer using chemical exfoliants on the face than biscuits. Step one cleans your skin we exfoliate on clean damp skin okay not dry skin so you're gonna have to take your bath first step two scoop some amount of scrub from the container and apply it on damp skin in circular motions or as shown in this video after applying to all parts of your body leave for about five minutes then rinse off you'll be left with glowing soft and even toned skin because you have removed the top hardened layer of your skin and don't forget to moisturize after exfoliating your body to prevent moisture loss and to suit the skin scrubbing exposes new skin cells to the environment protect them also moisturize the face with a facial moisturizer not a body moisturizer the facial skin and the body skin is different and hence both areas need different products you experience some slight skin pain in on your body don't worry it's totally normal don't peek at them if not they'll get darker just moisturize them guys let's talk from nyc calm and um i'm looking so stressed my skin when i immediately like that calm stressed my skin i got so much heart more skin we're going to parade ground by 5 a.m every day meaning we'll wake up before 5 a.m to prepare some people used to even wake up by 2 a.m so. these are the reason us to stand on that song no. they say that are training i beg i don't want this kind of training with this some cost has been getting look at the other presentation my face like I need something like this now. Sometimes the cleanser can help you get rid of it. There's also the magic cleanser that you can use to get rid of it. Guys, if you want to make a whole video about exfoliation, please like tell me in the comment section in the comment section below. So I'll keep you guys updated on the products I use in fading my dark spots. But 
naturally my skin is able to fade spots on its own but it just like takes a while but using a product to speed it up before my own my skin fades it naturally it takes let's say months it will just start going little by little but it takes time for a product i'm hoping to speed up the reaction besides this one it's so big like wow it's it's too big i'm making a full review of some family cleanser very soon so stay tuned for that so guys if you have any questions leave them in the comments in the video and i'll be sure to reply you as soon as i can i read all my comments and i try my best to reply to them i don't slow or you can message me on my instagram i my previous instagram instagram disabled before i don't know why they did that so i made a new instagram and i link I'll, I'll be linking it in the comment section below if you want to talk to me you can dm me on there so if you made it to this part of the video thank you so much for watching i love you so much um uh, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more skincare diys some simple product formulation and some skin education to get a beautiful glowing skin please watch my next video coming up thank you so much hope you have a nice day one two three fuck it my darling, I love you, I love you, I love you.